Allah. Yeah. Uh, hello everybody, so this is the very popular and uh, quite delicious Arabic food called uh, kunafa. Uh, as you can see, it's been cooked. Um, I just requested the chef to make a kunafa, uh, kunafa for us and uh, from scratch and you will see how uh, that is being made. Uh, I'll show you from the step by step as well as I'll explain uh, what do they add. So you should be able to see that. Uh, just uh, watch and see. So as you can see the, um, on the back there is some vermicelli uh, which is just uh, put on a plate to put some oil into the plate to make sure that it doesn't get stuck as you can see. Uh, the vermicelli are being put on there and um, so it's been very nicely placed and the test of it is actually quite uh, crunchy, nice and uh, crunchy yeah, the test. As you can see this has been rotated, it's been cooked uh, the heat has been distributed quite well, so that's why it's being rotated around. So right now he's putting the cheese, as you can see, uh, the cheese on top of it, uh, very delicately being spread it around. As you can see, it's quite a bit of cheese uh, has been put onto the uh, vermicelli. What it does mainly, it keeps the it's, it's, as it melts on the fire, uh, it really keeps everything sticking together. And then you can see the vermicelli being put on top, as you can see right now, uh, it's being evenly spread around. I was going to just pressing it to make sure that it's stuck onto the plate, and so again, it's putting some more vermicelli on top of it. And then I understand he'll be putting this onto the fire, as you can see. Now it's being rotated around. There's some fire underneath, as you can possibly see, there's some fire uh, being evenly distributed. And as it rotates, the cheese in the middle actually melts. And then, as you saw in the beginning, that he um, changed the plate. Uh, so it basically transfers uh, uh, so to make sure that the both sides are being uh, cooked quite well. Uh, so you can see the, the cheese uh, cooking. As you can see this particular one, the cheese actually boiling. Now what he's going to do is going to rotate, so change the plate to make sure that both sides are, are well done. Okay. This is now ch transforming into another pot. It's ready to be served. And it's cutting it now. So it's easy to eat. Okay, now you can see that some nuts has been spread around. Um, right, and then it's ready to be served. Uh, you got some garlic sauce. Got, there are some different sauce here that will be uh, given with the with the kunafa. You got the strawberry sauce, so the sh sh strawberry, chocolate, and sugar. Uh, chef is kindly explaining that uh, what is inside. Okay, so ready to take. Here we go. Zazakallah uh, khairan. So, okay, guys. So you have seen that how the kunafa is made. You have seen the other videos previously that how it looks like. Um, this actually tastes quite nice. It's uh, generally quite uh, sweet and uh, crunchy. It's very yummy. Yesterday was the first time I tried, and as you can see, I've come back for this again. So, which makes uh, you can make you give you some understanding. Um, you know, uh, it is actually quite nice. That's why I come back uh, to have it. And it's very popular. Yesterday there was two cookers. A lot of people was queuing up and uh, it's uh, ready to be served so you know as you can see if you look at the picture this uh, you can see that uh, cheese um, you know that white is uh, representing the cheese there the vermicelli and there's been nuts has been put on the top it's, uh, it says it's delicious and it's delicious and treat it's delicious the three things you need to know about kunapa okay guys uh, so that's for all that's all uh, thanks to the chef for showing us um, take care see you in the next video bye for now